Jesse didn't ask for this. <laughs> don't come, don't come hating at his channel. I am pressuring him into doing this. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rank. This is such rank a bad idea. <laughs> Mr. Jesse, sir. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of nervous. For <laughs> Me too. Um, this is gonna be so I, much fun. I'm trying to make this as like a. This will probably be opinionated on my end. I'm gonna try and get some data. I'm just a guest, folks. all right. Just you're the host. Yeah, that's right. This is your yeah, thing. That's right. I'm yeah. just here for moral support. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're gonna break down these karate styles and uh, and try and give them a ranking from S to F. And what's crazy is there's so many different styles of karate. All of the styles of karate you do can work 100%. You can make anything work. I'm convinced that if like if I gave you this microphone cover and you like I gave you a year to just practice with this, you could become deadly <laughs> with this microphone cover, right? <laughs> I like to say it's not what you do, it's how you do it. It's how you do it, right? You could have a teacher that taught MMA that was absolutely terrible and you learned nothing. Yeah. Or you could have the microphone teacher, which yeah. was incredible and you could be an assassin. Don't quit your style. Don't not take a style because of what we said in this video. This is for fun. So now that we're ranking these, is it based on how effective they are for self-defense or for competing or for physical fitness? Like, what are we actually looking at? Because there are so many aspects of karate. Of course. So what I usually go for is combat value. Like if all styles had to fight each other, which one would come out on top? Yeah, second, right. third, I and so on. I think that's what I want to do. But I also want to just go for like best value overall because I think there's plenty of things that karate does really well that don't necessarily have to just make you a better fighter. Okay. That can add to your life in a bunch of different ways. Because sure, there's obviously sure. more than one level of practitioner. There's like the recreational, there's the sport. And right. Then the like self-defense like i want to protect myself 100 percent. that's what i'm doing yeah yeah <laughs> we're, just gonna, we're just gonna go that's it let's we're do it let's go. do it so kempo karate style of myself um wonder boy takes kempo karate yep um other than that i don't know too many people who do so i i take okinawan karate a lot of mac dojos do no offense, but a lot of McDojo. I think that's Kenpo with an N. <laughs> oh, the other that, that's Kenpo. with the N. That's of course the N. it is. Of course so, it is. So Kenpo is like, you'll see a lot of Hawaiian Kenpo. You'll yeah. see a lot of Chinese Kenpo, um, which translates to Law of the Fist. And then that Kenpo is Ed Parker's Kenpo, which and is like what Elvis is. with an N. Right. Correct. But yeah. wasn't he like the grandfather of Kenpo in general in the U.S.? I think he started the whole thing and then his students kept, you know, passing on the tradition and changing and adding and mod modifying. Yeah, right. From what I understand, it went, when it got to the U.S., it split up from Kenpo and Kenpo. Ed Parker was like, no, it's spelled Kenpo. And yeah. then other people were like, uh, no, it's pronounced Kenpo. It's a whole thing. I'm going to give yeah. them sort of the same score. I have a pretty decent idea of these. Okay. I'm going to go with Kenpo with an M at B tier. We're gonna start off right in the middle. Okay. B tier. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're yeah. gonna go ahead and grab Kenpo too while we're at it. Right. And we're gonna go C tier just because. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So I'm, I'm just saying, if, El if Elvis Presley, with his hip mobility, now you're gonna be able to help me some more with this one. My, my data grab here. Next one is gonna be Kyokushin. Right. So my first question when it comes to Kyokushin, does the sport reflect the non, like is, is the sport super similar to how they practice not in the sport itself? Well, that's an interesting question because I think most people who practice Kyokushin focus on the kind of the fighting aspect. And yeah. I don't know any Kyokushin dojo that for instance uses the face punching, right? Which is something yeah, right. that they don't do a lot in Kyokushin. But if they right. practice, let's say, for self-defense or for more, you know, other combat sports, then obviously they would incorporate that. Right. A lot of MMA fighters like GSP 
or uh, even in K1 kickboxing, they had that Kyokushin background, but added those face punches. Added the punches. Right. Yeah, exactly. Very, because very, that's what I think is one of the main drawbacks. Don't uh, use the face I punch. Agree. Yeah. I agree. But so, they were super tough, a lot of low kicks, a lot of physical conditioning. Capability of taking damage. But they don't have a lot, though. It's like um, grappling, close quarter fighting. Mm. You know, they do knees, but they do, don't do a lot of elbows and, and yeah, grabbing. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be, this is probably going to be one of the more controversial ones. Uh huh. I'm going to give Kyokushin a B tier. Okay. I think I think I agree with you. The lack of clinch work, and especially in that range, Ishinru, what you got for me? I I've known one Ishinru instructor, and I don't believe they spar. They don't do that a lot. No, okay. that's more of one of those traditional Okinawan styles. But what's unique about Ishinru is the vertical fist. So they don't do the classic seiken, as we call it in Japanese. But they they love punching this way, even with the thumb on top. Which is oh. very unique, yeah. That is and when I was, I, I was learning from a, uh, one of the last Ishinryu masters in Okinawa, and he told me why. He said, give me a knuckle push-up. And I showed him a knuckle push-up. Then he said, how are your fists rotated? And nobody does a knuckle push-up this way. We yeah. all do it this way, mm -hmm. right? Because it's naturally more stable as to get that sure. external shoulder rotation. So it, it does make sense to actually punch with a vertical fist. And do a lot of kata. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, what? Can you, can you name some of the katas that they practice? Yeah, and it's, it's actually a very interesting style. It has uh, combinations of kata. So you get like the shorin, uh, shuri type katas, and you also get like the goju-ryu katas, but of course with some modifications. So it has like uh, the best of both worlds. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go. I, but you know what? It's almost like extinct even in Okinawa. There's not a lot oh, of issue really? left. Yeah, it, there's more in the US. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put it at C tier, and yeah. then I'll go to my buddy later, and if he wants to kick my butt with it later, I will totally accept it, and I'll understand. <laughs> I get it. Mm -hmm. You made a video about this style recently, which people should check out if they don't know about it. Uh, way cheap. Is that, is, right. that, is that pronounced right? Yeah. Cool. Good pronunciation. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this one, from what I understand, is much more self-defense based. Yeah. It's yeah. Like diving into cutting the fat in it yeah. for, a, yeah. for lack of better words right very streamlined yeah okay but they do like also it. compete a lot in full contact tournament but they usually wear a helmet so they do punch in the face unlike kyokushin right yeah no i like that already yeah um takedowns not that much but the ones they have are very basic quick and direct but they don't do a lot of that stand-up clinch work or, or grappling range it's usually like one or two strikes and then some kind of a sweep and they love to grab the opponent with one hand as they strike with the other. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking A tier for Weiji. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say not S because of the lack of the clinch work. But I'm thinking A tier. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I mean, there, it's, it's hard to say because I would say that it's some. For somebody who loves a lot of diversity, it is not mm -hmm. the optimal style. But that's okay. also what makes it pretty effective for what it's effective. intended for, right? Right, yeah. I'll give it I'll give it a hesitant... Oh, I don't want to give it higher than Kyokushin, though. I hate this. Whose idea was this? All right. <laughs> we'll go, you know, we'll go. I would place it above Kyokushin. Okay, cool. I, I, would. Good I, would. I would. All right, let's go with uh, Wado. Wado? Wado. 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 Wa means peace or harmony. Do is the path. Ooh, I like that. I didn't know that. Okay. So, actually, don't have a lot of information about this. So, oh. so convince me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually based on Japanese jujitsu originally, right? That that's what the founder practiced, okay. and then these Okinawan karate people came up to mainland Japan and introduced this new and exciting martial art. Yeah. So Hironori Otsuka, the founder of Wadoryu, he mm -hmm. loved learning this new stuff. So he incorporated yeah. a lot of karate into his jujutsu and created his new style. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So they have like uh, defending against knife attacks. They have ground-based work. I mean, they have a lot of different stuff you don't see in the average karate school, but still in a traditional manner. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So it's it's one of the, I mean, not newer than like Kenpo, I'd imagine, but newer than a lot of these other styles. That's interesting because what, what you find is like the newer the style is, it either is like a more modern sort of streamlined or mash of a whole bunch of stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of exactly. With, with Kempo Kenpo. Um, right. I say we did groundwork in our Kempo, but that could have been dojo based. Like that could have just been because my father saw the value in it. Yeah. I'll probably go with a then if that's the case, if they've got if they've got groundwork and they spar. But one big drawback. OK. Many Wadoryu instructors claim that their kata don't have any practical applications. Originally, that was not a focus of their style because they already had the jujitsu stuff. So they used kata for something else, for technical solo training, rather than an expression of their kind of fighting techniques, so to speak. Yeah, so right. the bunkai, bunkai is kind of downplayed. They were just never the focus of the style originally. Right, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give Wado the same, the same score as Kempo then, because that's actually very similar to how our school did it. I mean, we, okay. we, we went over the bunkai a lot. Let's go with, uh, let's go with sport karate, which is not a style, right? It is more so a, an expression. This gets a lot of hate. And I'm going to immediately say that it does way more for people than they think it does, than people who are like, oh, I train Muay Thai and, and we kick each other's legs off twice a day. Coming from somebody who's like kind of, was in the middle ground of sport karate and like self-defense. We, we, we tinkered in that area. We never competed, but our style was very explosive, kick-based and deep, wide, dropping stances. Yeah. I'm gonna give sport karate, takedowns, punches <laughs> to the head, kicks, Attacks, so are we talking balance. like, uh, is it uh, full contact or light contact, just skin touch? or? If you walked into the average right. tournament, right. right, what you would probably get. The stuff you could become an Olympic champion in. Right, yeah, which is right. less contact. It is, it is. But you can what? still throw somebody and punch them on the ground and get a point. You know? Yeah, right. I think that it's. I think that it translates well, as long as you know how to apply it with force. Yes, and, and it's true. funny when people see it. It looks like they're just uh, jumping around and lightly tapping each other. Mm -hmm. But if you've been standing in front of a national team athlete, they have full control and precision. Right. If they just extend their arm like two inches more, you're dead. Oh, people yeah. just don't know this because they have Absolutely. such grace when they move. Right. Yeah, I agree. I'm actually going to... This is where it gets risky. I'm going to give Sport <laughs> Karate A tier because I, I think it's it's bred a lot of super talented athletes right, that have right. proven that it, it can work outside of just the, that rule set. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what I was thinking there. Ignore that. Take Sport Karate from A, put it down to B in your heads because it does the same thing Kyokushin does. It has like this couple things that it does really, really well, but it's not complete enough to do it on its own. You have to do something else with it to make it super effective. So it's not A, it's B. Let's move on. True, and a lot of traditionalists don't like sports karate, but. Usually right. that's because they haven't tried it and they don't know how much they could actually learn from stuff like right. sports science, for instance. I, I agree, yeah. And Getting even a lot of old masters said that when you're young, you should compete. You should test yourself and challenge yeah. you know, your limits. And then right. as you get older, you can transition more into the traditional stuff. So you can right. do both. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. It makes sense, too, to do that while your body's still young <laughs> and spry. And then you exactly. can work on... The, uh, healing your injuries for the rest of your life. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with Shotokan. Nice. All right. So, arguably the most popular style in the world. I think it's the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, known for its competition kata and 
I, I think they're big in the kumite too, right? They're big into what's known as the 3K karate. So that's kata, kihon, kumite. And they focus heavily on these three areas. Okay, gotcha. The kihon, kihon is the basics, right? The fundamentals. Like right. line work, drilling, you know, basic single, double, triple techniques up and down the right. dojo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we just gave sport karate an A. Right. We could argue that this is that plus other elements. Right, right. When, when they compete, though, they usually do it a little bit more uh, brutal than the Olympic-style sport karate. Because they usually don't wear um, protectors. Yeah, right. At least um, if you do the, the traditional uh, Shotokan karate. Because the katas are obviously competition-based, more right. elaborate. Um, do they practice the bunkai as much? So most dojos would teach bunkai, but it's the surface level, the, what we call the omote bunkai. Like what you see is what you get. If it looks like a block, then we're using it as a block. Probably so. a block. Okay, interesting. Takedowns? Well, mainly sweeps. Mainly sweeps, okay. Although the founder of the style did demonstrate like a dozen different throws, a lot of people yeah. don't actually practice them. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it A tier. Do you have any reason I shouldn't give it A tier? Because yeah, I think I think if you look at somebody who comes from a classical uh, Shotokan background, like and let's take somebody in the UFC, like Lyoto Machida, yeah, right? Yeah, right. When he comes close to people, he tends to drop his hands because right. that's when you know in Shotokan when you get close to somebody, the referee, if you're competing, will yeah, will right. separate. You, you right? clinch up with them so, for a second and then they back out. And, right. And even in a traditional dojo, e even if you don't compete you always learn how to enter your opponent's space. And then you do a strike, you do a takedown, whatever. But what happens then? They don't right. really teach that clinch fighting, like how to control somebody, yeah. wrestling, grappling, elbows, headbutts, you know, that nasty stuff. It's, it's right. somehow lacking. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I, it almost makes me want to drop Shotokan and Sport Karate down one. Hmm. Mm. I'll go with... I'll go with Shotokan at B. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll keep it at that. And then if we want to yeah, switch, yeah. switch it up later, I will. I might even drop okay. Shotokan karate down one. Um, I would probably right. drop Wado one. You would drop Wado one as well. Yeah. I'd probably put Goju there instead. But we'll get to that. Well, actually, let's do that now. So Goju. Okay. All right. So what is different from Goju than some of the other more traditional styles? Well, what? Usually what people say is that Goju has a lot of circular techniques, right? right. Because it's a combination of the hard, uh, like Shotokan style, and also mm -hmm. the soft circular style. Because the name right. means soft and hard together, like the yin and yang kind of idea. Okay. okay. Gotcha. And they focus a lot on breathing, like the breathing mechanics known as Ibuki, something that is heavily used also in uh, Uechiryu, which we already talked about, but I didn't mention yeah, yeah. that. But they have a lot more of the close quarter fighting. They use a lot of joint locks and takedowns and choke holds and stuff that many yeah. other karate styles don't use as much. So the kata applications are more important in, in uh, Goju-ryu. Can you name some of the katas that they practice? Sanshin, Seisan, Seipai, Gekisai, Seinshin, Super okay, cool. I agree with all of them except for that. I think that's actually where we, Goju is where we get most of our katas. Oh yeah. They do a lot of strength training though with those traditional tools. Have you seen those? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. The, um, the jars, nigiri yep. game. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. We'll go and the one that. that looks like an old school kettlebell, like made of stone, like the padlock. Oh, I haven't seen that one. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. That's really um, cool. I like. That. <laughs> or do they also have the uh, the stick with the little slab of concrete and right. the, the hard Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sweet. All right. Well, I went goju B tier. I'm gonna follow your lead here for the only time. This whole time. Everything else <laughs> has just been information. This is your list. Let's be clear. This <laughs> is your list. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with the two shs here. We're gonna go with Shito, and then after that we'll go Shorin. But right now I've got Shito up. I know. I might know a little bit without knowing that I know some. I know very little about this style. Right. So Shito has the most kata out of all styles. The list is like like 80 kata or something. It's really? insane. Wow. Right, right, right. Because the founder, Mabu Nikenwa, he was a kata collector. Like okay. he wanted to preserve as much as possible before the old masters died. 
Yeah. So, so they focus a lot on kata, which of course is a good thing, but also a bad thing because then you don't have time to focus on a lot of other stuff, right? Right. Yeah. So, so in some places it's more like quantity over quality, but the diversity is what makes it so unique. Right. Yeah. Um, I would guess a lot of bunkai that goes along with that too. Yes, and okay. many of the kata world champions are from Shitoryu because they have a high technical degree of understanding yeah, for all they, of those kata. That makes sense. Yeah. Any sparring? Not as much, but obviously uh, any dojo would also do sparring. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's so tough because usually that can be like the outlier in these other tier lists that I've done. Uh huh. Like, do on average do they spar or do they not spar? You know, but with these, it's so dojo to dojo. It's hard to say. I would. I would say to... it's more of a martial art than a, a combat sport. I would say I would say the same thing. I'm gonna put it at D. I might also put Kenpo at D. No, I'm gonna put Ishin at D. And Shito to go with it, and then Wado at C. Okay, so what we, we've we've done a little bit of thought. We looked at the instant replays, and we've decided. I've decided. <laughs> you decided. I decided. Shito I had no no say in this. <laughs> Shito at C, Ishin at D. Because as I was thinking about it, we should probably start to disperse it a little bit. Now we're going to talk about Shorin. Right. Shorin. One of the core four, or no? Yes, one yes. of the four main styles of Okinawan karate. One of the older styles. Okay, gotcha. Was this was this the the booze style, or is that another style? The what? I remember the booze in your Okinawan trip. There was right. one of them where they started learning because they had to be security for this distillery. I think. Right. Yeah, you're right. Man, you know there? your stuff. You've been, you, you paid attention. <laughs> Congrats. I think interesting. Is that them? That's the style practiced around the Shuri Castle area in Okinawa. Yeah. Like the king's guards and all of yeah. that. Yeah. A lot of bodyguards, yeah. people uh, working and, and guarding the ships from pirates, all of that. Right. What you would probably today call Shorindu or the closest thing to it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, perfect. It worked out then. I was actually right. I was. That being said, does it still kind of keep that same standard of protection, I guess. Yes. 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 I would okay. say it's heavily like self-defense based, okay. but from the standpoint of kata, not as much sparring, which not a lot of Okinawan styles do at all because it's kind of frowned upon actually. Hmm. Yeah, That's even in the Okinawan, you know, they have their own world championships, like traditional ones, Right. like every fourth year or something. They don't even have a sparring category. Hmm. Because they consider karate something that you don't play around with. So, but but obviously it's important these days to do sparring. Right. Yeah, I agree. It's it's a good way to pressure test. Especially since we have a lot of protective equipment they didn't have back then. Right. That's very true. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking C tier to go along with it. Makes sense. That was just a. a a, a toss in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to go kudo now. Now, you could argue that this isn't karate because it's a combination. But I get so many questions about kudo. And they're like, Seth, do a reaction to, or talk about kudo or do something. Here you go. Okay. Kudo is a combination of Kyokushin and judo. So the, those problems that we talked about earlier with Kyokushin, with the lack of clinch work, is made up for by the wrestling, the takedowns, and I, I would imagine Kudo does submissions as well. Um, and they have the helmet. And they have the helmet, which means that they're striking to the head. It's like a modern, yeah, exactly. Is it, is it more of a sport than what you would call like a style? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't put sport karate in here. I guess we'll, like, I feel like this is an obvious one. I'm probably going to go with, it doesn't have the kata, I'd imagine. Well, it might. Is Kyokushin a kata heavy style? They do have kata, but it's more like for gradings and stuff. Something like, you know, mandatory stuff you have to show up. Kudo, kind of a cheat here. Not really fair, but it's in here. We're going to go S tier. All right. Now, the last one we've got here. I've actually got a surprise one here that I didn't even tell you about. All but right. First one, though. This one's not a surprise. Meridote. 
So we. So what's uh, above S tier? That's um, obviously where it needs to I go. Can, I can make room. Yeah, obviously Meridote is for the skilled and only the most powerful. Best of all, worst of none. The Hurricane. The, the, and this one. The kill the face. Sarah, you're right. And the yeah, restomping right. the groin. Restomping the groin. I mean, all of them are Amen. incredibly powerful tactics. Yeah. I think I would beat up Master Ken. F tier. <laughs> F tier, <laughs> Master Ken. Come at me. <laughs> Prove me wrong. All right. Oh, also, wait, there's one more. You have a death wish or something? Right. Do you want to guess what it might be? Because you can't see my screen. It's mainstream popular right now. Even to people. Oh, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Cobra Kai. All right. Based off of what you've seen from Cobra Kai, where would you put them on this list? I'm not even sure it's karate, though. But, you know, <laughs> I, yeah. I would actually, I like it. Yeah. 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 Okay. B, maybe? B? I think B would be I fair. Know. I think B would be fair. We'll go Cobra Kai B tier. There you go. So all, all you Cobra Kai people out there. All right. So here's our list. I mean, it's a decent list. It's impossible to make one of these, like we already said. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, this was definitely the hardest tier list I've had. You will, I mean, no matter who you are, you will always get at least 10% wrong. Right. You could, yeah. you could even be in a Meridote, but if right. you practice the right way, you could be really, really good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was karate tier lists. By far the hardest one I had to do. Thank you for simply the information, Jesse. I That's appreciate all it. I provided you with. That was More it. Just the information. And some info. Yep. Now, if if I were to ask you what the best style is, you would say There is no best style. There is no best style. That's right. So <laughs> don't come at him. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment. Oh man, I got socks on. That's fine. No feet people. Ready? Subscriber, I'll kick you. Bah! Uh, bah! <laughs> I'm a karate teacher, you know? Teaching kids karate is one of my favorite things to do on this planet. So obviously I'm gonna be a little bit biased towards this one, right? Yeah. Karate's awesome because I think when karate's taught correctly, you go over takedowns, you go over punches, 